Hello, I'm Paul Halata, president of Mercedes-Benz Canada. And this is a 1957 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Roadster. The first SL ever mass produced. Exclusive in design and innovative in engineering. The SL Coupe Roadster appeals to the instincts of the automotive purist and to the romantic in us all. Which brings me to our video program. This year, a two-part presentation. In part one, we profile the evolution of our legendary SL Roadster. And in part two, we offer you some very practical insights into how and why a Mercedes-Benz is engineered like no other car in the world. So sit back, buckle up, and enjoy the program. In 1952, after a long absence, Mercedes-Benz re-entered automotive racing with a machine of previously unheard of design and capability. It was a glorious season. The car won every race but one. What had transpired was history. What followed was legend. The Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. It was never intended to be a production car. But its invincibility on the race circuit captured the world's attention and the SL's look and performance, its imagination. Yet the precedent-setting design and engineering of the SL were born in typical Mercedes fashion, out of practical necessity. The gullwing doors, for example, were applied to the design out of a desire to increase the structural rigidity of the unique lightweight frame and not as a fashion statement. 300 SL was offered to the world in 1954 and met with immediate critical success. A new benchmark for luxury automobiles had been established. With doors raised, it looked to all the world like an exquisite bird. Driver and passenger would then slip into the cabin just as they would into the cockpit of an airplane. The basics of the race car were kept intact. The same six-cylinder engine re-emerged sporting an unorthodox solution to the horsepower problem, fuel injection. Applied here for the first time in a gasoline engine, it drove the 300 SL to a top speed of 145 miles per hour, making it the fastest car in the world. Virtually overnight, the 300 SL had established itself as a timeless masterpiece of design and engineering. And with the advent of the 190 SL in 1955 and the 300 SL convertible in 1957, it firmly established itself as the world's greatest sports car. The 300 SL was the creation of men who dared to be different. The product of a manufacturer who went all the way to win. It created a legendary status for the number 300 and the letters SL. Get in. anything about the idle rich? Yeah, they drive too fast. Beautiful, isn't it?
The new 1990 Mercedes SL, like the still exciting shape of its predecessor, the legendary 300 SL, the new 300 and 500 SL set standards for others to follow. Unmistakably, it is SL. Classic elegance, dynamic presence, exemplary performance, incorporating countless practical yet unprecedented innovations, true Mercedes style. Under the hood of the 500 SL, the high performance engine is reborn. A new, lightweight, five liter engine with eight cylinders and 32 valves, four valve technology, and a new fuel injection system, giving optimum performance and power reserves for sporty, safe driving, but not at the expense of the environment. A new double-fluted ceramic catalytic converter reduces nitrogen oxide emissions by 40% without reducing performance. In fact, total pollutant emissions are well below the tougher standards. The 300 and 500 SL, the ultimate sports cars. Yet they remain true to the Mercedes tradition that places even greater emphasis on comfort and safety. With engineering genius fired by passion, anything can be achieved. And in the sports car world, this sets the SL above all the rest. In 30 seconds, the soft top emerges automatically, precision controlled from its covered recess to form a seamless weatherproof seal. Innovative features, combined with a high degree of functionality, add up to a single concept the Mercedes SL, a car that underlines the leading role of Mercedes-Benz design in the automotive world. And like all cars with the three-pointed star, it bears the stamp of distinction. It allows the individual a touch of individuality in a world of conformity, yet because it is an SL, it stands apart carrying its status with ease, character, and charm. If admiration should ever go too far, this SL is equipped with an infrared remote locking system to secure all the interior compartments. Very appropriate when the car is parked with the top down. Performance, safety, comfort, design. Expect the most fluid driving experience of your life. The feeling of one seamless flow of forward motion. The new SL, a reassertion of legendary automotive mastery that began at an incomparable level and continues with the creation of a new legend, the 1990 Mercedes SL, the shape of things to come. Presented in some of the scenes that follow are crash tests with a variety of automobiles, including Mercedes-Benz. In fairness to non-Mercedes products, these tests were conducted at Mercedes-Benz research facilities. The identities of non-Mercedes products have been masked. Question. When does a Mercedes-Benz cease being just an elegant luxury car? Answer, when it becomes a structure for managing severe impact forces on behalf of the passengers within. But this structure will never cease to be a Mercedes-Benz. Why? Because Mercedes-Benz has always led the automotive world on the strength of one simple idea, the best or nothing. And to the logical, precise engineers at Mercedes-Benz, the best also means the safest. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Passenger protection traditionally receives top priority at Mercedes-Benz. This is reflected in many generations of automotive engineering, and in the course of time, many breakthroughs in automotive safety. None has driven the design of today's Mercedes more than the development of the impact-absorbing car body. Nearly 40 years ago, our design engineers proposed that a car should be built not only to perform well on the highway, but perform well in an accident. And so, in 1951, Mercedes-Benz patented the controlled, deforming car body. It was a milestone in automotive safety that occurred more than a decade before the advent of consumer protectionism and before anyone else in the automotive industry had considered accident survivability or passive safety when designing a car. The concept was simple, precise, and logical. Minimize the force of an impact on the passenger cabin by designing the front and rear sections of the car to yield in a controlled, predetermined, and progressive manner. In the process, kinetic energy is dissipated and the impact load on passengers reduced. Today, after years of intense safety research and development, a Mercedes-Benz is a reflection of this precise logic. The heart of the car, a rigid monocoque body, welded at over 4,000 points, creating a granite solid foundation. Then, there are the front and rear crumple zones, designed to withstand impacts of over 80 kilometers an hour. Even the spare tire and the engine have been incorporated into the overall design to absorb or deflect the forces of a collision and strong windshield and door pillars, engineered not simply to support the roof, but to help brace it during a rollover. In the new SL, another safety milestone, an extremely strong roll bar. Upon sensing a critical rollover, it deploys automatically in three-tenths of a second. In fact, the new SL is structurally designed to be as strong as the Mercedes-Benz sedan. Integral to total passive safety, is the strength and rigidity of the body side panels and the overlap of the front and rear doors. Even in a severe accident, they are designed to open easily. And of course, found in every Mercedes-Benz, the precedent-setting supplemental restraint systems, automatic seatbelt tensioners and airbags, now standard on both sides in the new SL. Altogether, these safety features combined with proper, safe driving habits provide the Mercedes-Benz owner with an essential advantage, namely that maximum passenger protection can be achieved and maintained. The constant development of automotive safety based on actual road situations is imperative for the automotive industry. Yet high research costs deter most manufacturers from going beyond conventional, legislated standards. At Mercedes-Benz, going a step further is expected, because to us, it's logical. The result? Progressive safety features that far outdistance government requirements. For example, accident research has shown that front-end collisions are the most common, accounting for approximately 60% of all collisions. This fact has driven government safety standards that demand automobiles be built to withstand a full front-end impact at 55 kilometers an hour. And yet research also indicates that the most severe and common type of front-end collision is off-center, the most frequent occurring on the driver's side, and impacting on only 30 to 50 percent of the front of the vehicle. At Mercedes-Benz, logical and preeminent safety standards have driven a structural design that must withstand an off-center front-end collision over an impact zone of 40 percent at a speed of 55 kilometers an hour and a rear-end collision over an impact zone of 50 percent. Even in the extreme case of an off-center collision with a pole that has an impact zone of less than 20% at 50 kilometers an hour, a Mercedes-Benz can withstand the challenge safely. 
the identities of non-Mercedes products have been masked. In contrast, off-center crash tests with an impact zone of 40% at 55 kilometers an hour performed on cars which meet only conventional legislated standards revealed results that were critical for the occupants. There is no doubt that in the most frequent and most critical accident situation, the off-center front-end collision, Mercedes-Benz passenger cars are without question one of the safest there are. Question, why is a Mercedes-Benz the epitome of luxury? For the Mercedes-Benz owner, the answer is found daily in the real world. Well, that is our program. I hope you have enjoyed it. 1990 plans to be a historical year for Mercedes-Benz. And I wanted to take this opportunity to personally invite you to test drive the new SL or any of our 1990 model line. A Mercedes-Benz is engineered like no other car in the world, in large part because we have been building automobiles longer than any other car maker in the world. And after 103 years of automotive excellence, you should know that today, not only does the Mercedes-Benz owner drive the safest automobile in the world, but the most exciting.